Welcome to my introduction to personal financial statement series. This is the third installment. Now, this is a series where I just am trying to educate on the importance of keeping track of your finances and highlighting a few important calculations that you might want to make on a regular basis if your goal is to improve your financial health or just have a better knowledge of your financial situation in general. Now, if you've never heard of any of these, and I'll link them, we've done net uh, we have done calculating your net income and cash flow so far. And today we're going to look at personal savings rates. And if you've never heard of any of these, that's okay. That's why I'm doing this. I honestly have never heard of, um, I've heard of calculating your net income, but cash flow statements and personal savings rates, I didn't even know until I was taking a financial planning course. And these are some of the calculations that we use to uh, find out how a person is doing financially, how, how their financial health is going and how we can um, take steps to improve it. So these are really valuable calculations that I do, that I do monthly personally, but if not monthly, then at least quarterly, at least having an idea throughout the year of your financial health and not leaving it all at the end, to the end of the year, um, because it just helps to make adjustments as you go. So without further ado, let's get to this personal savings rate. So I have my trusty whiteboard here. Now your personal savings rate is the percentage of net income that is going towards savings. So how much at the end of the week or the end of the month are you putting towards your savings? And it's a really simple calculation that you can get from your budget. Or if you do a cash flow statement, you can uh, retrieve that information from there. So it, it doesn't take long at all. It's really simple. And it's just simply savings divided by net income times 100 equals your personal savings rate. And the higher your personal savings rate is, the faster you'll reach your financial goals. That makes sense, right? Especially if you're saving for like long-term goals, such as a down payment for a house or saving for a vehicle. Um, the, the, high, the more savings you have going, or the more money you have going towards savings, the faster you will accomplish those goals, right? Makes sense. But there is no right answer for this. The personal savings rate is personal and the rate that you have established as, as being the right rate for you might be different for somebody else. So there's no like, there's no range, there's no right answer. It's basically the amount of the amount that you're putting towards savings that will um, allow you to achieve your goal within a within the time frame that you want. So um, I do, like I said, I do my personal, I calculate my personal savings rates um, monthly. And it has changed over the last, I've been doing this for four or five months. See, I'm fairly new too. I haven't been doing this for years or anything. This is, this is new to me. I've never heard of personal savings rate, but I'll show you mine um, to date and tell you, uh, just explain why it has changed because it definitely has. So in October was the first month that I started doing this of last year of 2023, my personal savings rate was 33 percent okay and then in, de in december i guess i skipped november um it was 43 percent and that's because i kept my savings rate the same but my net income decreased so i was putting actually more towards um savings and then in you see in january it dropped considerably to 50 percent and I was okay with that and um, I'm still okay with that because you'll see as the month goes on in February and March it was 17 percent 16 percent and I was okay I'm okay with that because I instead of putting money towards savings all that money towards savings I um, stopped contributing to my TFSA and RSP compared to long-term savings accounts well, TFSA is kind of, doesn't have to be long-term, but anyways, I, I, I still contribute to my emergency fund, but I stopped contributing to my longer term savings because I directed that money towards my credit card uh, balance instead. So instead of putting money into my savings, I was putting, I was putting it on to my credit card balance to lower that. And that was because my goal was to lower my credit card. I chose to do that over savings because it was just weighing on me. So, um, so I'm okay with a 15% savings rate and I calculated it each month. And it's 
stayed the same. And now when I'm done paying off my credit card, I intend to increase my personal savings rate. So the next time I calculate it or when I pay off my credit card, it will increase because I'm going to put that money back from, um, from paying off my credit card to back into savings. Now why personal savings rate is a valuable calculation is because as your income increases, like when you get a raise at work or you start a side hustle or you're incre you're, you increase your income, you tend to increase your spending as well. It's just natural. So if you're keeping track of your savings, your personal savings rate, and you see that it's dropping as your income increases, then you know that um, you are spending more. You're not saving more. So you might want to reevaluate what you're doing with your money if you're if you have financial goals, like long-term financial goals or savings goals, um, because uh, kind of the point of the personal savings rate is to keep it like the same. So if you are if you are saving 30% of your income and that works really well for you and you're achieving your financial goals and you get a raise and then you find that you're um, saving less than that, less than 30% or you drop down to like 20%, then you kind of want to reevaluate, okay, what am I, how much should I be saving and how much should I be spending? So it just is a good check to just ensure that you're saving um, what you want to be saving to achieve your financial goals. So that's what I'm doing and I'm keeping an eye on it because I want it to increase again. The uh, savings is really important since I started quite late in life and I want to get back to saving rather than paying off debt, but uh, paying off debt is taking a priority right now. So that's my personal savings rate and that's my situation. And like I said, it's different for everybody. So um, calculate it, see if uh, it's enough to to hit your financial goals. And if it's not, then reevaluate where you're, how much you're saving and how much you're spending. So yeah, you don't know what you don't track, right? So this is a really good calculation. It's so easy, simple. As long as you have, if you have a budget, if you've done a cash flow statement, uh, you can just pull that information from there. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you tomorrow.